Welcome to a special edition of With the First Pick. I am Josh Edwards, joined by none other than Ohio State wide receiver Jackson Smith and Jig, but one of the more talented wide receivers expected to be available in the 2023 NFL Draft. Uh, Jackson joins us from uh, Panini America. He's being hosted along with several other NFL players uh, and draft prospects at the Panini Prism event um, in Phoenix, Arizona, ahead of the Super Bowl weekend. So, Jackson, appreciate you taking the time to hang out with us a little bit, man. I know you got a lot going on, but uh, give us a little bit of the vibe check of what's going on in Phoenix right now. What's it? What's it like uh, taking part in the Super Bowl festivities? Oh man, it, it's craziness going on, but I love it. Um, out here in AZ, it doesn't get much better in this beautiful crib that Panini got. I mean, we're we're rocking and rolling. No doubt. So I kind of flash back to last year during the draft process. Uh, your former teammate Garrett Wilson. Uh, famously mm -hmm. said that you were going to be better than both he and Chris Olave. That was obviously lofty praise, um, yeah. you know, coming from those guys. Garrett is now one NFL Rookie of the Year. So what did you think when yeah. you heard? <laughs> was that pressure? I mean, you know, what do you expect when you hear that from that kind of from a from a teammate like that? Oh uh, no, it's it's just big bro just pushing love onto me, and I, I appreciate those words. And I think those guys are the best. You know, I've definitely said that before, and. Um, you know, and they're proving it. They're they're pushing the bar, and uh, you know, but no pressure though. I just you know try to be myself, and that's what they they really tell me. Just to be yourself, you know, and, and everything will take care of itself. And you know, but I appreciate those words, especially from a guy like Garrett, winning offensive rookie of the year. I mean, you know, super proud of him. He deserved it. He's one of one for real. And. Uh, a lot of guys uh, from the receiver room that I was in, you know, are, are ballers. But, you know, those guys, you know, I'm, those guys are the best right now. And, and, it, and it's fun to chase greatness. So this is your opportunity to kind of pass along the love a little bit. Who's next out of the Ohio State program at the wide receiver position? I mean, I, I think we all see, you know, Marvin Harrison Jr. <laughs> Seemed pretty easy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, that, that was pretty easy. Unbelievable talent. But we got we got a few guys, Emeka Buka, Julian Fleming coming out of there. Um, I know Jalen Ballard is going to definitely turn a lot of heads. Um, but, you know, that man Marv, Marvin, I call him Marvelous. I gave him that nickname, by the way. Um, yeah, but he he's something special, man. He he He's going to be the best, you know. And, and it, it's funny how it works. Garrett says, you know, he's the best. And then but Marvin Harrison Jr., you know, I don't think we've seen anything really like it. So what's the secret? I mean, what is it about the Ohio State wide receiver room uh, and Coach Brian Hartline that has led to so much success at the wide receiver position? You know, Coach Hartline knows his ball and, you know, he's played in the league for, you know, a lot of years. And, you know, you know, he's a he's a great guy, great man, you know, first of all. And he recruits great, great guys um, first. And. You know, having a great, great guys in, in one room that are competitive, you know, the competitiveness is, you know, unmatched, you know, and uh, we all want to be the best and, you know, we push each other and, you know, we, we love, e we love each other, you know, it's all love in the building. So, you know, once you just have that and, and you mix it all together and um, you go, you go to work every day and you're practicing against the best, I mean, you know, only greatness can can come from that. So it was sure. honored. It was honored being that building. So as you kind of reflect on what Garrett and Chris did this past season, does that kind of give you confidence in your own transition to the NFL? I mean, obviously seeing a couple of guys from similar situations going on to the NFL and already having success. Oh, most definitely. Um, most definitely. They always give me confidence and um, just seeing them do their things, you know, and, and them always being in my ear telling me, you know, you're next and, you know, just keep being great. Um, you know, football's football, you know, and you're going to adjust, you know, how, you know, you're going to adjust, you know, kind of the way they did. And, you know, it's a it's a it's an honor just seeing them. And it definitely makes it easier on me just having a blueprint. Have you thought about expectations for your rookie season, what you hope to get out of that first year as a professional? Um, you know, I just, I'm just really excited just, you know, to play on whatever team and, 
you know, I'll, I'll set some goals for myself later down the line, but I'm just really enjoying this time, you know, where I'm at, trying to be present and uh, just trying to get better every day right now. I imagine coming out of that Ohio State wide receiver room has to give you a little bit of confidence as well. So, you know, as you're looking at the other players in the class, do you feel like you're the best wide receiver that's available? I definitely believe that I'm the best receiver available in this in this draft, um, you know, but I'm all about proving it. So, you know, no matter what happens, you know, I'm just, you know, ready to go out there and prove it. What do you feel like separates you from the other top players? What what are what is an NFL team getting out of Jackson Smith and Jigba? They're definitely getting a playmaker. Um, they're giving they're getting a guy. You know, you give some opportunities. You know, I, I can help win or, or win you the game. And you know, um, they're getting a, a competitor. You know, that wants to win and you know bring everybody with them and help the team. You know, grow. Uh, you know, as one unit. You know. Uh, I'm a team player and just, you know, just love this game. Again, a guy who loves this game. I don't know if anyone loves this game more than me. So, you know, <laughs> I'm just I'm just excited, you know, to to take the next step. Yeah. So speaking of being a team player, I'm going to take the spotlight off you a little bit. You've got several other talented teammates, but obviously quarterback C.J. Stroud is uh, yeah. expected to be one of the first players off the board this year. So yeah. as you reflect back on your time in Columbus, is there one moment that you can think of that, you know, kind of describes what CJ's leadership style is? Oh, most definitely. Um, one moment, one moment is hard. Uh, well, I just know in that the beginning of the 2021 season, um, you know, he was getting a lot of, you know, people in his ear and, you know, he wasn't getting the love and the praise, you know, that he, he definitely got later in that season. And now, um, you know, he had to really get it out the mud. And, you know, I'm super proud of him. You know, his mind and his, his willingness to be great and, and push and lead is, is unmatched. And, you know, it was an honor to play with him. Um, he's a competitor, just like, you know, the rest of us. And, you know, he wants to win. And just having him in that huddle and the confidence that he brings in that huddle is you know really remarkable having been around a quarterback really like that and you know he's definitely a special talent as we all see so you know he's going to go early and he wherever he goes you know he's going to be great for that team yeah no, let's, let's not rule out the possibility of you two playing again together one day that's that's obviously very mm -hmm. possible here as we uh you know go through the next couple of months but um yeah. you know one thing i want to talk about is of course the injuries that limited you a little bit this year how 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 difficult was this past year for you and how excited are you to get back on the field? Right. I mean, one of the most difficult things I had to go through, you know, as a as a player, you know, just sitting on the sideline watching your team play and not being able to and just trying to fight back so hard and not knowing what the next day was gonna hold and you know, just just a lot of things coming at you at once that you know that you really can't control, you know, it's definitely Definitely is hard, but, you know, I leaned on my family and, and God and, you know, my teammates. So, you know, I, I had a support system that, you know, allowed me to, you know, make good of this and not, you know, you know, push me under. You know, I definitely feel like I've grown and, you know, I'm a different person in, in a better way. So um, I, at the end of the day, I feel blessed that, you know, I definitely went through, you know, this hardship and, you know, I, I don't take anything for granted, you know, definitely want to wanting to be out there and compete, but, you know, you know, you, you can't control, you can only control what you can control. And, you know, I just leave it up to God. So, you know, I'm blessed at the end of the day, I'm here, you know, in Panini at a great event, um, you know, still got my dreams, you know, right in front of me. So I'm just ready to, to attack it. For sure, man. I love that. I love that. Um, is there a player current or past that you kind of model your own game after, or you mm. feel like plays similar style as you do? Mm. That's a hard one. I, you know, I try to take, I try to take a, a lot of things. I watch a lot of ball and try to take a lot of things. If there was three guys um, in the league right now, I would have to say um, a little bit of Stefan Diggs, a little bit of Jamar Chase and a little bit of Cooper Cup. I try to, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I try to just take all of those and pour it into myself and into my game. Yeah, so if you get, uh, you know, a combination of those three players, I think you're going to be doing pretty well in the NFL for yourself. You're going to make a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Easier said than done, but that's what No doubt. Work. 
No doubt. So to bring it back to Panini and the event that you're there for in Phoenix, um, I would have to imagine that having your own, you know, training card has has had to be a dream of yours, something that you've looked back on uh, since you were a kid. So what's it going to be like when you finally get to see what your rookie card is going to look like? Uh, it's going to be it's going to be amazing. A dream come true. You know, my brother, he he collected a lot of cards and, you know, just it, it's an amazing just that everything's unraveling and, you know, having that Panini card is, is part of it. And it's a blessing and, you know, I'm just loving it, trying to enjoy it, uh, ready to see it. So we'll finish with this, you know, a little game of uh, cop or drop. When your, when your rookie card comes out, mm -hmm. should fans go, should fans go cop it or is this a drop, man? What's, what's, what's the deal here? <laughs> if you're smart, if you love cards, if you love <laughs> players if you love football if you love a lot of things you should go go cop it for sure i love it man i love i love the confidence i love what you've done in columbus the past couple of years uh excited for what the future holds for you but i want to thank panini for bringing us together to do this interview um yeah. you know jackson we wish you all of the best of luck as you go through this pre-draft process and of course a healthy long nfl career so i uh, appreciate you taking the time and best of luck with your preparation in phoenix Yes, sir. That's love. Thanks for having me. You got it, man. Thank you.